Welcome to the fourth episode of Master Investors Podcast. Talking to you live from Naples, Florida. Beautiful day here, Sunday, July 1st, 2018. I'm glad you are here listening to this. I hope that I give you a lot of value so that you can apply into your life and better your life in some way or another. Uh, in the past few podcast, I have been talking about the mindset, the difference between assets and liabilities, what it takes to have a champion mindset, what are some of the strategies that you could use to leverage your business. I have gone over some financial statement examples in um, as well as on self-development strategies. So on this uh, podcast, we're going to be talking about, we're going to be covering probably uh, some mindset, uh, and I'm just going to go with whatever I feel like it. I'm driving to the bookstore right now, and I am working on a project, so I would like to do some research, and um, and so I'm going over there right now to Barnes & Nobles as I speak to you, so I'm just going to provide the knowledge and the value, and we're just going to go with the flow here. So when you look at an investment for yourself, um, what you want to do is... is <clears throat> First, if you're looking to raise capital for that project, like something that I'm doing right now, um, I'm basically building a, a healthy McDonald's. I'm building a restaurant franchise that is going to be available um, for people that want to be that, that wish to be healthy and want to change their lifestyle. Maybe they're in the process of going to the gym and they need the you know they need the protein and they need the vitamins and maybe they want a shake in the middle of the night maybe a fruit a shake in the middle of the night all fresh fruit you don't find that anywhere else right now so um, you know you have McDonald's that is 24/7 you got Taco Bell but all of these places are not that healthy for for the I mean they're, they're not that healthy for the for us for anybody. You know, and and more so someone that is trying to work out and become somebody with a better body or, you know, better um, um, health overall. So um, this restaurant, this franchise is going to be the new McDonald's, but it's going to be focused on healthy Items, you know, healthy breakfast items, healthy lunch items, healthy evening items, healthy overnight items. You can call and order and they will deliver to you. That's the whole idea to be like at McDonald's um, around the world, uh, but healthy. And if you go to one of the locations, we're right now in the process of building um, a prototype. uh, But the whole point is to make it really advanced futuristic we're gonna have um, a wall that has food and it already ready like to take and so members of the restaurant will be able to or anyone will be able to just walk in and go to the food wall and you know pay and get their food um, whatever we will have available which will be healthy and uh, I think that's pretty cool because you don't see that anywhere else around America. Uh, you have some of the countries in Europe that have that, uh, but not around here. And, you know, and usually it's not as as healthy as we're going to be focusing on this franchise. This franchise will be just for, uh, you know, for, for the ones that would really want to keep a healthy uh, diet and become partners with someone that is investing in, you know, marketing to empower other people and the customers that come in. And we're going to have maybe even a second floor in each location where people can um, 
co-work with each other and brainstorm and they're going to be like a VIP lunch on the second floor. Um, so you can go there and maybe, you know, if you need to do some work, then you can do your ideas or you can, you know, get um, get to meet somebody else that maybe uh, could help you in your project that you're working on or you could uh, simply just do your research, a study, you know, go downstairs, eat, or just order your food, or just grab it from the food wall, and we just want to be convenient to the uh, ones that would like to improve themselves um, internally, and also help other people along the way, so uh, that's the whole movement with this franchise that I'm working on, and something that I want to share with you is that first, you got to put your ideas on paper. If you don't have them on paper, then you're not going to be able to express to somebody else um, you know, why you need that money or why they should invest their money in your project. So it's important that you learn how to uh, draft a plan. Um, it doesn't have to be long because you know a lot of people and a lot of investors, for this matter, they don't want to read a lot. They want to get to the point, you know, they're going to invest X, Y, and C amount, and how much are they going to get back after how long? And, you know, all of these questions that are important for the investors to be answered in a sound manner. So it's important that you tackle those and focus in the interest of the investors and also show them why it's going to be for long term and it's a secure vehicle for their money to work hard and produce more income for them. So um, put it on paper, uh, get a team of people, you know, you're gonna need an attorney. So you wanna look for a legal partner, somebody. I mean, there are so many attorneys today, virtually that you can, you know, that you can, um, you can uh, hire and make it part of your team. Uh, you're going to need that regardless. Even if you started a online business, a Shopify website or, any type of e-commerce or if you're selling products yourself or any anything like, then you are going to need a lawyer in order for you to leverage and scale your business the right way and also stay out of trouble. Because if you don't have your legalities in order, then you're going to be experiencing maybe late uh, penalty fees and several different uh, uh, matters, you know, when it comes down to having a business and and having an income coming in so uh, make sure you have your legal partner it's one of the most important people in your team you're going to have to need if you're becoming a business owner entrepreneur or investor or a marketer or anybody that's making money on themselves without you know having a company uh, you know without being an employee so we're talking about entrepreneurs and investors and anybody that's in that journey you're going to need a legal person by your side so look online and you will find many of them um, very helpful usually they have a portal where you can log in you can talk to them you can ask questions they can guide you they can inform your entities they can give you you know legal advice regarding what is the best formation um, for your entities you know whether it's an LLC what kind of you know uh, um, how would you like to be taxed and all of these things that are very important when you build a business for the business to stay in business and for you to maximize your profits for the investors. So then it's more attractive for them and therefore they're more willing to even reinvest money with you and another deals. Um, so very important that you write the stuff down. Um, you know, always think of this, the investors point of view, the self interest, you know, Try to tackle those, surf those, uh, you know, those needs. They, they want to know what's going to happen with their money. You know, how long are you going to take to give their money back? And how much cash flow are they going to get every single month? Because they're looking to be passive. They're looking to make money every single month without, you know, without doing anything themselves. And just having you, um, you know, um, make that money work for them. So, it's important that we become very responsible when we ask for money because you don't want to be promising um, things that you cannot keep. 
So the way to avoid that is to have a team of professionals around you. You don't have to know all of the answers. You don't have to be the smartest in your team. In fact, I always say if you are the smartest in your team, then your team is in trouble. You need to find a new team, a new circle of people that can pull you up. You need smarter people than you around you. You want to be in a room with smarter people than you. You want to be like the dumbest person in the room um, all the time. Um, and because that means that you are growing and they, there's no other way but to go up because you're not going to pull everybody else down. So it's important that you put yourself in those situations and force yourself to find those, those team members. And sometimes we get a team member and we have to let that team member go for somebody else better. So get used to being flexible and, you know, do evaluations every three months, you know, whether that bookkeeper is good for you, maybe their, you know, their knowledge is limited. You need somebody more advanced because you're making more money now. So you're in a different tax bracket. So you want to be upgrading your team members. Very important. Write that down. That's another nugget right there. You want to upgrade your team members just like you upgrade anything else on your phone. You have to do updates. The same thing. You want to update your team all the time. You want to give those updates all the time. You want to be you want to be on the leading edge of of having the best team members, having the the team members are that have the latest knowledge and the most experience. So, you know, very important that you know that. Also, um, make sure that you <clears throat> that you um, you build your team. You have your attorney. You're gonna need a banker. You're going to need uh, to have that relationship with the bank. And you're also going to need a bookkeeper, a CPA, um, right? You're going to need a CPA, bookkeeper. You're going to need an attorney, a business attorney. Um, what else do you need? Um, you might need a broker or a real estate agent. You want to have at least one or two people, three, five, you know, of those people that can give you deals real estate deals you know and they also can give you investors because they are connected with investors so you might find a way to also even though you're raising money let's say for a franchise that you're building or for some kind of dream or kind of product that you that you're doing then you might want to get in touch with these agents regardless whether you're investing in real estate or not because they are <clears throat> attached to investors they are investing in real estate and also businesses they don't care People invest in all sorts of things nowadays. So people invest in real estate and as well to businesses. So uh, be omnipresent, meaning that you are everywhere, you know, at the same time, you know, stay in touch with your broker because they might have people that they can send you to your offer that you're doing. And or maybe you find a deal in real estate. We will talk about real estate on the next podcast, but uh, that's another beautiful way to raise capital because basically the the money is being lent to the land to the building not to you so it's like you raise money but it's secured by the collateral of the building itself so if it's a building that is a sound investment and like an office building that has been making money for the past 10 years or the past five years and it's not optimized yeah maybe it's uh, like 70 percent you know um um occupied rate uh right and, and maybe you can improve we can come in and improve the rest and may in you know scale the the cash flow every month so that will be an a, an option for an investor to give you money and uh and give you the funds so you so, so that you can uh, obtain that and control that that building so always, always look for big trees. When you look at real estate, look for the bigger, the bigger, the better, because the less attention they have on you, the more attention they have on the deal. Make sure you have a team of people around you that are professional that can help you put a package together so you can offer to the different investors that you have and, uh, and be the middleman, be the person that controls, be the person that, uh, you know, uh, understands how to raise capital, you know, by putting a sound package together, have, you know, have basic knowledge of investing and continue your education financially. Because the more you know, the more you're going to be able to do, the more you're going to be able to attract bigger investors. 
and remember this language is everything in business you gotta learn the lingo of investing I talked about it on my first podcast on my second one I said the most important word in the business language is cash flow that's the most important word remember that cash flow is the most important word when we talk about business you want to make sure that you are investing or you are an entrepreneur to to better humanity but you you are in business to work for cash flow not for money but you're working to build cash flow because cash flow is what gives you it was what gives life to the business is what gives freedom to you cash flow is passive income cash flow every single month or every single day without you having to work for that is what's going to give you the freedom that you're looking for in your life and that we all actually look for so um i hope that i helped you somehow today um i just got to the barnes and nobles and um, i'm going to go ahead and get to work Uh, i will be back very soon and please share this if you find it valuable with your friends family or team members and um, study and double down on your education financially get get financial education into your library of books make sure you're reading something every day to improve your knowledge and um, And you have a great rest of your Sunday. Bye now. I'm out.